All right, so this is just a short how-to video to successfully flip your image for your playing card. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to design half of your playing card with your character, your suit, and your letter or your number. Remember, there is no number one and there's no number past 10. So you have your number or your letter, your king, your queen, your jack, your joker maybe, and you have your suit, your hearts, diamonds, clubs, spades, and your character design that is some type of animal creature, something that's not an inanimate object. Now to do this paper, you just need to take a piece of paper and you fold it hamburger style and you design that one half. Now this one half is not your actual playing card. This one half is what you're going to use to trace it onto your playing card. So I have my light box here. You are going to use a window if you don't have something like this. Now I'm gonna put it down against my window and or my light box and I'm gonna take my playing card of just my piece of paper that I'm going to use to design my playing card and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it right on top and you can see that my image is shining through whether it's at a window or here so now I can draw it out and get started when you're getting started, you want to make sure that the paper you're using is the same size as your tracer paper. Notice that my tracer paper, I took it out from being folded. I don't want it to be extra thick to try to trace through to see it. You're going to hold it up to a window. You need it up to be on a flat surface, a window, a light box, something to see, something to trace through it. Now I can see my lines and I can start to trace on that one side. So it's going to go a little faster here for a second so you can see it all drawn out on one side and then I'm going to flip it and do it the other way. Now when you have it traced out on half of it, then you're ready to flip it, and then you do it again. You want to line it up as best you can, and it'll be a good match if your paper is the same size as your tracing paper. So I want to line up my corners as best I can and put it up against my window. I can even tape it to the window so I don't have to worry about holding it. That's always a good trick. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace it all over again. So I'm going to trace it quickly, and you're going to see what it looks like afterwards. Now when you've traced it onto both sides, it'll look something like this. You have your tracing base and then you have it flipped on both sides for your playing card. The only thing that you're going to have to have some fun with and be creative is the connection between the two sides. Maybe you need to kind of finagle something, clean something up with the hairs or whatever you have going on for yours, but you should have a nice flipped image if you're using your tracing base. Your tracing base, make sure you've outlined it with a marker for nice clean lines. That way you can see them when you hold them up to a window. Now I can go through this, change things, rearrange things, and make them nice and bold for my finished artwork.